enjoy the ride with Crystal Petri Consulting. So it's Hello, my name is Crystal Petri, and you are watching the Crystal Petri Consulting Network. Here is my recap of my favorite show on NBC, my favorite series on NBC. This is Us. Season 6, episode 11, entitled Saturday in the Park. And if you've watched this episode, you know that that title has a double meaning, which I'm about to get into. But before I do that, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel right now so you will know the next time I upload another video of This Is Us. Now, let's get into this episode. Whew, I'm going to take a deep breath on this one. Kate and Toby. Kate and Toby, the arguing that they are constantly doing is becoming the soundtrack for their marriage. It's becoming the soundtrack for their children. It's becoming the soundtrack for their family. Not just their immediate family, but their brothers and the moms and the stepdads. It's becoming the soundtrack. We have been privileged to see the beautiful union and coming together of Kate and Toby. So we saw it when it began, we saw it with the kids, we see it in the middle, and maybe we are seeing it come to an end. The issues and the arguing that Toby and Kate are dealing with is really causing me to ask a lot of questions about marriage and relationships. And maybe it's doing the same thing for you. For example, the arguing that happened in this episode about Jack really wasn't about Jack. That arguing and the exhaustion and the impatience is about Toby and Kate and how they have become each different people from when they first met until now. I have read, and I don't know if it's true, but I have read that people change about every 10 years. And in a marriage, this can be really jaunting that you've married one person and 10 years later, they are a different person. And I feel like that's what Kate and Toby are dealing with. They each married one person, but years down the line, maybe it's been 10 years down the line, they are both different people. So now they have to get to know these new people in the household. It is really unfortunate because all of the arguing that Kate and Toby are doing is taking so much energy and effort from them. And that energy and effort is being taken away from their children. I know as humans, we always feel like, you know, we can multitask. You know, we are creatures of, you know, being able to do more than one thing at a time. And sometimes you're given a pat on the back for it. But honestly, you cannot multitask because if you're doing one thing and focused on one thing, you're less focused on something else. And that's what happened in this episode. Kate and Toby are so focused on arguing and nitpicking and bickering that they are unable to focus on Jack. Now, yes, Toby was wrong for leaving the gate open. It was a series of unfortunate accidents that led to Jack's Saturday in the park all by himself. So yes, Toby was wrong for leaving the child gate unlocked. Yes, Kate was wrong for leaving the door open. They both were in the wrong. But they are so focused on 
pointing out the errors in each other and arguing with each other that they can't see that both of those things were simple accidents. That's all it was. And thank God that nothing major happened to Jack. Uh, of course, it could have been worse, but it was not. Let's focus on that. Focus on the fact that our child is okay. Focus on the fact that our child only had to get a few stitches and he is okay. But they cannot see past the arguing and the fighting. But I will say, the entire episode was just arguing and fussing and fighting. But one of the best parts of this episode was how Randall and Kevin came to the support of Kate. And this is something that they have always done since they were little itty bitty children. Come to the defense and the support of their sister Kate. And they continue to do it again as adults. As 41 year old adults, they continue to support and come to the defense of their sister. And I was here for it. I do have a few questions though when it comes to marriage. When is there too much arguing? When is this situation no longer enough? I have been told that in marriage your good times have to outweigh your bad times. When does the bad times outweigh the good times? When is that switch that flips on and off to say the bad times are weighing more than the good times. I don't know. If you know, let's have a discussion, an open and honest discussion about marriage in the comments. One thing about this is us writers and directors, they give you the entire 180 view of marriage. They give you the entire 180 view of Kate and Toby and it allows you to form your own decisions or form your own questions. And as I stated at the beginning, the dynamic of Toby and Kate is really bringing up a lot of feelings and questions and opinions about marriage. It is for me. If it's for you, let's have a discussion in the comments. As I wrap up this recap, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you will know the next time I upload another video. Pull up, enjoy the ride with Crystal Petrie.